and welcome to a video today that we are going to be sharing with you a skill to improve the likelihood that your client will stay engaged and return to a follow-up session after they meet with you for an initial intake appointment. And these factors and these uh, the, the skills and the, that I want to share with you today, they can be used both in person or even over the phone to some degree. So realize anybody that walks in your door, uh, any client that uh, you know calls you up, they want something. And usually they're under some degree of stress. Now, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. Now, when they come in to see you, whether you're a private practitioner or you work in an agency, you know, you have to do probably some form of assessment, mandatory by the state or your company, or even, you know, all, all practitioners have to be maintaining a written uh, record of what they're doing with their clients. And a lot of times we jump right into the problem, right into the story of the client's pain. And um, that's pretty natural. What I'm going to encourage you to do is to slow down the interaction because you control the flow of the story in your office. I know that sounds maybe strange, but it is important. Your clients are going to follow your lead. Remember, they're coming for something, and you want them to leave with whatever that something is. So when a client comes in, one of the things we want to offer them in, in, is, um, in, is an awareness of what it is right with their life for two reasons. One is because we have to show the client that there is more to them than just their mistakes. We want to increase their confidence. And we want to tie them back with their resourceful parts. So the the first thing I do with clients is we mine for resources. What are the things that are working in your life? Whether it's the marriage, whether it's the relationship with the parent, whether it's their, their job or their career or their, um, their workout routine. What is working? So we want them to do that because it maintains a level of competency. And resourceful parts of people are far more agreeable and they also um, you know let the client relax a little bit let you relax a little bit and it allows us to generate a more change talk and approach um, the actual goal for the session or for the clients to work with us so again part one mind for resources what it is that's all you know already still okay or what's working you know Again, builds positive rapport, confidence. The second thing is that whenever a client comes in, the most important thing or one of the most important things in that first appointment, and every appointment really, if we're being conscientious, is what is the client's best hopes in meeting with you? When they leave and they go back to their car or they get back on the bus or they go back to see their mom and they are driving away, and they think to themselves, wow, meeting with this wackadoo wasn't a complete waste of my time. What is it that they are going to be saying? We want them to be able to say that they got their needs met. Now, all we're doing is slowing that interaction down. I know you're, a lot of you are watching this and saying, but I have to do an assessment and I have to get a diagnosis. And I, you can do all of that. And you actually can get it a lot faster and a lot, uh, a lot more um, effectively by slowing down the interaction and getting the client to work with you and allowing what you have to do, whether you have to do an intake, whether you do an assessment, allowing what you have to do makes sense with the client's story. Remember, we want the client to understand that their story is most important. And our job is secondary to support them. So it needs to make sense. The assessment needs to make sense in lieu of the client's story, their distress, whether they've gotten a DWI, whether they're having issues in their marriage, whether they're having, um, they, they've been hospitalized. We want us to participate with the client in a helpful way, in a respectful way. And then they leave, they come back.